Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, in this video, we're going to talk about our fourth and final method, Kramer's rule um, for solving systems of equations. Yeah, and um, so so uh, Kramer's rule says that the system of equations in two unknowns x y x and y the two unknowns um, will have solution x equals uh, the fraction d sub x divided by d and y equal d sub y divided by d and it's and if it's a three by three system then z will equal d sub z divided by d now we're going to talk about what d sub x d sub y and d sub z are as well as what actually d is yeah now in uh, method three at the start i talked a little bit about how one can write uh, this system uh, using matrices uh, and we said specifically that you could write uh, 5 and then 2 and then negative 2 and 1 and then this times um, XY right we said this here equals uh, 4 1 right so, so this here, this um, matrix equation, right, is identical to this equation, right? Like, or this pair of equations. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 And so, and so then, so then, you know, two by two matrices here, and then uh, in the case of the system of three equations and three unknowns, a three by three. Well, all of these square matrices, n by n matrices, have what's called a determinant. And I'm not going to teach you how to find two by two determinants and three by three determinants in detail here. But yeah, it's clear that if a matrix A has um, entries A, B, C, D, then um, the determinant of the matrix A, which can be denoted in a few different ways, but yeah, dit A, um, or like just absolute value kind of bars around the matrix a b c d notice what I just wrote is not saying a matrix right because like these are vertical bars as opposed to the brackety like ends of the matrix but yeah this means determinant this means determinant and so sometimes just an absolute value around the name of the matrix and all of these mean uh, this product a times d minus b times c that's what this determinant business is for two by twos so a d uh, minus b c yeah okay cool so d here is talking about the determinant of this whatever this is for the particular uh, set of equations you're working with that's what this d is yeah that d means the determinant of that matrix okay cool all right, um, so then let's write that down. That that's what D means, and I just deleted it, but we talked about what determinant means, so you should know what that is. So D, we're saying for the two by two example here, is equal to, um, I guess, vertical bar around the entries five, two, um, negative two, one. And that, we said, means the vertical bars mean determinant, and that means 5 times 1, which is 5, minus 2 times a negative 2. And so that's negative 4, also known as 9, because that says 5 minus a negative 4, so that's 9. So that's D. So that'll be this D and that D. That'll be 9 for both. And we've got our answer, so we can check. All right, so then what is DX? Well dx is almost like d what we're gonna do is to get dx remember we said that these were the x coefficients so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the x coefficients with these guys to create dx so it's still determinant but of this 4 1 so 4 1 here in place of the x coefficients and then um, we keep the y coefficients as they are, which is um, 2, 1. So these x uh, coefficients are replaced by that. The y coefficients are left alone. 
So 2, 1, and that's what dx is, the determinant of, yeah, what would be that matrix, but it's not matrix, we want determinant, right? Okay, so dx is the determinant of that matrix where the x coefficients are replaced by the numbers to the right of the equal sign. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So enough said. Uh, so this here is going to have to then be 4 times 1, which is 4, minus um, 2 times 1, which is 2. And so um, that's 4 minus 2, uh, which is 2. Right? Okay, cool. Oh, and except that this isn't 1, it's 11. I was like, this is not going to work out. How are we going to get x equals negative 2? That's 11 right there, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I lost the extra 1 in the 11, but that, that makes it better. So d also was affected. No, d wasn't affected, just this guy right here. Okay, so that's 4 times 1. That's better. That's 4. And then 2 times 11 is... Um, 22 so just an easy fix an extra two right there makes it look like a duck right there that's good all right so 4 minus 22 uh isn't two it's negative 18 so that'll work out much nicer okay negative 18 all right i'm tempted to re-record because i don't remember where i lost that but whatever i'm not going to i think this has gone well enough all right so so you know then then like we see what x has to be right the solution to x has to equal um, x has to be, I was going to switch colors, I don't know why. So x has to be dx, which we just figured out is negative 18, and then divided by d, which we know is 9, and that makes negative 2. And that's the same as what we found in the other three methods. Cool. And so you should naturally be able to um, figure out what uh, dy is and dy then is you guessed it leave the uh, x coefficients alone so keep the 5 and the negative 2 but do the determinant right and this time we replace these guys with those guys so 4 and 11 the y coefficients are replaced by these and now we do 5 times 11 that is going to say 55 right and then minus um, two times uh, negative, sorry, negative two times four, which is negative eight. And so that's five, 55 plus eight, which is 63. So dy um, over uh, d is going to say uh, what well, y is. So y is dy 63. Yeah, <laughs> tiny three, sixty-three over, um, and then d, which is nine, and that is seven, right? Voila, right there. That's seven. Cool. Um, yeah. So, so like you know, for the three by three, uh, you will have to know uh, how to do the determinant of a three by three matrix. But if you do that, if you do know how to do that, then um, this is pretty straightforward. Um, so I won't go through the whole process because, well, you might not know how to do uh, a 3 by 3 determinant, so just watch that, but I'll write, like, everything you need to get started. Um, and so, so, like, 4, negative 3, 1, this is probably, like, you don't even need to see, but yeah, 1, maybe some of you do. So 3, our matrix is uh, this, right? So, uh, to negative 5 so this is the coefficient matrix uh, times um, XYZ and this equals uh, negative 10 0 uh, and then 17 and so like um, X this time is going to equal uh, DX is going to have to be vertical bars to mean determinant, right? Of what? Well, replace all the x coefficients by this. So that's negative 10, 0, and then 17. And then everything else is the same. So negative 3, 1, 2, and then 1, 3, negative 5. And so this divided by, ah, this is like facing exactly 
I don't want it. And yeah, so this is the numerator, uh, dx, which we just wrote. And this is the determinant, and it's just going to be a number if you do the determinant of this 3 by 3, right? Okay, and the denominator is just going to be the determinant of uh, the coefficient matrix. And that's. And as I've already said, perhaps like an irritating amount, the vertical bars automatically mean determinants, so you don't need to do anything, right? Except execute the determinant, unless you have like a way to calculate determinants, calculator or whatever. Okay, and you get it, you get it. I don't even know if I need to do more. Like uh, for, uh, I guess Z is what we haven't written. So for Z, it'd be like, um, uh, just replace the Z coefficients with these guys. So, four, two, negative one, negative three, one, two, and then the Z coefficients um, replaced by negative ten, zero, seventeen, and then this divide. Uh, you see now uh, I use a ruler sometimes. You really get it wrong when you do it by hand. That's better. But I have my ruler set. So, there, and the denominator, I could just say copy from this same thing because nothing changes, right? So it's going to be one, two. Okay, cool, this is it. Um, all right, uh, I hope you, uh, yeah, get a lot out of this and learned a lot.